Woo! Now that's what I'm talking about. Up off net. Up off net. What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Dope. All right, man, look, up off net. That's what I'm talking about. The lightweight division is lit. You got Ryan Garcia chasing Tank Davis and Devin Haney. He's chasing the both of them. Oops. All right, man, look. Let's get to the video. The heavyweight division is lit. It is my favorite division right now. It reminds me more of uh, the welterweight division in the late 70s, early 80s, even more than the welterweight division right now because the boys are so young. It reminds me of back when, you know, Sugar Ray Leonard, young, Wilfred Benitez, young, Roberto Duran, uh, Tommy Hitman Hearns, uh, uh, Pepino Cuevas, all those boys back then, nice and young. Preach! I just stepped out the shower. You ain't gonna have me all moist. Pause for this video. Let's get to the video. Ryan Garcia chasing Tank Davis. Ryan Garcia, you know he's been wanting Tank Davis for a while now. And Ryan Garcia, the latest thing is this. He said that he wants Tank Davis December 2020. And he said, he even went as far as to say, hey, look, man, you want us to be big stars. I'm a big star right now. Funny thing is, Tank Davis responded in Twitter. And, they, and Tank Davis responded only hearing the big star part, not the fact that Ryan Garcia wants to punch you in your face. Tank Davis said, big star. He was talking about ticket sales. He said, who had, uh, had more ticket sales their last fight, me or you? Which is embarrassing. Because that shows the residue of the Floyd Mayweather effect. It sounds like Floyd. And what I'm saying right now, this era, things are starting to shift. Things are starting to change and resemble more of the days back then. Remember Tommy Hearns versus Marvelous Marvin Hagler. Tommy Hearns and Hagler, they weren't talking about ticket sales. Hearns told Hagler, what took you so long against Roberto Duran? 15 rounds. You, you just got past him. Me, I knocked Roberto Duran flat out. Short work. That's how people are talking right now. Preach. Boy, I'm telling you, man, I'm on my soapbox. Mm-hmm. Let's get to the video. Now, you have someone by the name of Devin Haney, though, calling out to both of them. And as of late, Devin Haney, he just put something on his Instagram, and I put it on my community. It's a picture of Devin Haney back in 2014 with Ryan Garcia in their fight in the National Junior Championship with Devin Haney hand raised. And Devin Haney, he said, did I hear that somebody finally uh, wants some get back? Talking about Ryan Garcia. Devin Haney, if you look at that fight, I'm going to put it in the description box below, a link to that fight, because it's on, it's on YouTube. You can watch that fight. Devin Haney was exploiting something that Ryan Garcia, a weakness he still have, even right now. Ryan Garcia doesn't really move his head while he's uh, in, during this combination. It's kind of like an AJ, right? Ryan Garcia, head on the island, while Devin Haney, you know, you know, he hides that right hand like a Decepticon. You know, he hides his right hand right in his back like an Autobot, like uh, uh, when Optimus Prime transformed. He takes it, taking his right hand out of his back. Ryan Garcia can't do it. Bam! Every time, hitting him with that overhand right. That's how he won that fight. But I'm going to tell you something, though. Ryan Garcia, he was landing a sneaky straight right of his own and a good check left hook. The difference between amateurs and the pros is that was three rounds. They're touching each other with headgear. You're talking about a 12-round fight, something different. Which Ryan Garcia, his last performance against Duno, looking way more sensational uh, than Devin Haney's last fight against Santiago. Now, we all know that Devin Haney, he suffered a shoulder injury. As for Ryan Garcia, a steeper challenge in Duno, knocking him flat out short work like a Tommy Hearns. Let me tell you something, man. Ryan Garcia, the difference between him and Tank Davis is Ryan Garcia, he wants that work too. I have a link I'm, I'm going to put in the d d description box uh, to a video. Uh, I think it was Fight Hype where both of those boys talking about each other. Just last year, it was uh, Ryan Garcia with Devin Haney. I think they were punching the machine or whatever, seeing who punches the hardest. Devin Haney having a harder punch uh, according to the machine. They're talking about fighting each other. Ryan Garcia ain't running from that smoke. Preach! Sit here. I'm still on my soapbox. 
let's get to the video. Devin Haney, when he signed with the zone, he said, I guess we're gonna have that fight with Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia ain't running from that smoke. What I'm saying is to Tank Davis, he is the only one that is talking about finances. Kind of sounding like Floyd Mayweather. He has to leave that alone. That was Floyd Mayweather's era. Right now, the, it has shifted. People are talking about strap season, getting belts. People are talking about knocking each other out. You got a guy wet behind his ears. Teofimo Lopez at 22 years old, still in diapers, taking on Nomachenko. The, 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 the environment has totally changed. Right now, these fighters are talking about punching each other in the face. Let me know what you all think in the comments below. I'll tell you this though, Devin Haney, he is ranked higher than both of those boys at lightweight. And Devin Haney, he's the one that's eager for that smoke. Showbiz the don't preach. Woo, let's get to the video. I'm out.